All right, I forgot I could use my mic. I know, two freaking years that you've had to put up with me. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. And oh, look, I came prepared as always. Well, not always, always. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrates, dear friend, Sir Troll. <laughs> <laughs> Not beer. I didn't get, I'm, you know, you're right. I should have gotten beer. I, I have not had beer in my establishment for like, uh, it's got to be two or three weeks. And that's a problem. I need to fix that. Maybe I will do that after my stream. If I was prepared, I should have gotten some beforehand, but... <laughs> what can I do? I, I, <laughs> oh please, Ix. you're you're like the last person I would ban. I could think of a couple. I saw I saw Echoes in here. He was he would be a good candidate. <laughs> hey, Enamel, good to see you. <laughs> Lord Sassison, good to see you. Hey, Opo, what's illegal? I'm now. No, nobody got. No, 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 nobody got. <laughs> No one's gotten banned, at least not since that uh, troll from two weeks ago coming over from <laughs> trying to talk in French all the time. So how are you doing today? Uh, it's why you're not a mod here. You just ban everyone. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so how's how is everyone? Everyone coming coming down from the insanity of 303? Archaic. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. I'd ask how your stream was, but I heard a good chunk of it, but it was still awesome. But still, how did you feel about your stream? <laughs> uh, I. Oh, sorry, Johnny's here. Johnny, can you do a shout out? <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to who I have as mods today. I'm just like, actually, I think I might have beat you. Ha ha! Or sort of beat you. It was well-timed. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, Ix is on a, on a, on a rampage. We're, we're, do we're, do <laughs> we're doomed. A hey, bonus. All right. I mean, I could talk a lot, but the, no one came here. Well, I shouldn't say no one came here to hear me talk, but maybe you came to hear me partially talk. Let me get a calcifer in the mix. As you can tell, I disabled quite a few things for the stream um clearly not the hydrate so <laughs> that's my fault <laughs> but i kept uh we're, we're just basically stuck on this visual screen so you're basically just going to look at the album art in my face and deal with it the way you could avoid that is just turn off the the, uh, the visuals or sc scroll down on your screen and that'll also solve that problem shut up <laughs> So, <laughs> oh God, why, why? I should have made this a just chatting stream for the beginning part of this. <laughs> Posture check. Uh, it's good to see you all have humor today. <laughs> I think I said hi to Astro. I'm gonna, it's gonna be hard keeping track of t text. Anyway, so what we're doing today, cause I figured this would be easy on myself as well, because I don't know about you, I get exhausted coming off of Synthon 303. It just exerts so much energy that I usually oftentimes don't want to stream for a week. So perfectly, thank you for the stretch floors, Flores Skyline. Uh, so where's the part that was parted? What the frick are you talking about? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so I, I figured the timing is perfect. And to give a little bit of background, um, Quite a few of us in the guild, but just in general, had taken part in like our uh, January, um, which is where you're supposed to like, you know, record one song, a d you know, a day. And like there are some people that did like a phenomenal job, like Bardic was like probably <clears throat> the best out of all of us. Enamel was participating. I know there was a few others. Um, and I use that as an opportunity to take some of the song, the 
more ambient songs um, from January and put it into an album because I've only been saying I need to get an al- ambient album done and I've been saying that for months. So finally fire lit under my ass and have it done. <laughs> you, you missed it here. Okay. Trollish mortal robot, whoever you are, I'll even do it again. I'm going to have it. Actually, that's a par- terrible one. Yeah, it's, he's had a rough day. He needs some coffee or bed, but there you go. <laughs> no, I only make Gabber. You, you just probably don't catch my streams when I do Gabber. <laughs> hey, Jedi. <laughs> uh, so anyways, so I finally put together this album. I have to give a couple of people like thanks in advance and I'll probably do it again at the end. I want to um, uh, thank Jeff Perchette who uh, you may know him well currently falls under the cat mansion uh, but you know similar to bonus creature you know check back in a month it might be a different name but <laughs> Jeff was kind enough to uh, master uh, this album and Andrew aka X aka troublemaker one of the troublemakers in chat um, helped be able to um, put everything out and uh, produce it and you know take me on under his label so I'm grateful for that um, there's also like a special thanks to um, Archaic because pr- pr- he probably helped without you know intentionally doing so he probably helped choose like a good third of the songs because he just kept he's probably my biggest like supporter during January being like I love this song I love this song so you can blame him whether or not it's on the album or not <laughs> Yeah, Ken, I'll, I'll thank you later. You can, you, th- remember, this is an echo stream, so you just put it on mute and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that, if I did this correctly, I think I've been able to figure out how to play audio. What was the inspiration for the name of your album? Oh, gosh. Okay, so funny story. I am terrible at trying to name stuff. The album that I did last year, um, I actually like picked Synthesis Brain for that to come up with Industry 8. So for this one, I was like, Jeff, you've heard everything as you've mastered it and you know the, the, the titles. So he literally was like, based on the input I gave him, like ran it through like a chat GBT to try to generate ideas for titles and then regenerated and regenerated. There was a lot of horrible ones, uh, but we landed on uh, Echoes of Dreamscape. It's not because of you or it's less Echoes. Uh, if you want to think it's you, that's fine. <laughs> Um, So with that, I'm going to go and I'm going to play things from start to finish. I'm going to try to not talk on mic as it happens, but I'll definitely be typing on um, the uh, thingamajig, the keyboard. So I'll be able to respond that way. And if there's time in between songs, I'll say something. But that's pretty much it. So thank you for being here. It's great to see you here. And we're going to test to see if I actually have this working. So if I start playing and you don't hear the music, yell at me because... Technology is not my friend. (laughs) Fingers crossed. In theory, it should be playing now.
For tr everyone who's trickling in, just as a heads up, I'm trying to not talk by mic um, during the songs, but I'll quickly jump in in between just to say hi or anything. So, yeah, I'm bad. If anyone has questions on the tracks, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I'm bad at that. Um, so that was the first one. Let's go on to the next one. And then I will begrudgingly answer Echo's last question. <laughs> Thank you. 
of songs some of them are shorter and some of them are longer so hey everyone trickling in uh hey mr x and disillusioned and who else snuck in and weird is dead good to see you uh <laughs> i feel like i should also be spamming like the chat command just because just for the fact that x is alone here so <laughs> all right let's move on to song number three
archaic you would say that you basically picked like again a third of them <laughs> <laughs> it's like i try to utilize a lot of these songs like different elements of my pedal board like that one you can definitely tell had a lot more like fuzz and noise going to it like in a subtle way so it's been cool doing that uh all right next one let's go
Hey, everyone, Tricky Lane. Okay, now that I can talk briefly. <laughs> Did Box, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Hope you got your creative juices flowing and had a nice time. Um, yeah, so again, for those of you who are trickling in, um, taking a break, because as I said before, uh, Synthon 303 takes the life out of me between trying to figure out music for it and also adminning for it. So I figured this was like the perfect time to be able to like, last week was uh, the release of this album. Um, so I figured this week's edition of Totes Tuesday was the perfect sit back, relax, let the music play itself and I can kick back and not have to do much work. <laughs> I'm like, huh, I should do that more often. <laughs> so anyways, that's why I'm basically playing each track and like keeping off mic during but I'm uh, chatting in chat in the meantime so thank you all for being here uh, on to the next one
yes. So this is a primarily ambient album, but that was one of two songs that had drums. I mean, the, the drums on that were so subtle. It was like barely there. And yes, Yovo, I apologize. There is no claps in that. <laughs> I don't believe there's claps in the other one either. So <sighs> fire me. <laughs> Can't win them all. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on to something a little bit more choral. No drums on this one. <laughs>
we're two thirds of the way in. I think I'm trying to like compare to like last year's album. So last year in comparison um, was the first time I did January and the first time I did RPM challenge. And that one was, for those of you who recall, was definitely in a different direction. Like that was a little bit more experimental coming out of stuff I was doing from January. And it ended up being this weird industrial chiptune dance fusion. <laughs> so to kind of go from like that uh, to this is a little bit <laughs> of a shift. But I kind of like that because it's kind of showing like, I mean, definitely in the past year, I've moved to more ambient down tempo stuff probably a lot of that due to work stress and just kind of like it's a lot easier for me to just kind of mellow out and like play something that's more ambient than me to try to figure out how to do something more uh, tempo focused and whatever though I haven't abandoned it I just have to let work settle down so I let it kind of creep in here and there um, but as I said it's been a fun journey so uh, with that we'll go on to the next track Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Was my warbled chaos of a of a track. And <laughs> I, what I've recognized in like so, like for those who know me, I listen to almost every genre of music. There's really it's only a couple that I'm like I don't really get along with, and that's like country music. Though there are like examples that I do like, but for the most part, I'm not usually into country or hardcore rap. But almost everything else I'll like I'll listen to and like you know try to understand and uh, uh, noise and drone and stuff was something where if I if you had asked me like two or three years ago if I would listen to that stuff I'd be like nah but like the influences of that and like there's a couple people here in chat like Archaic and Skullsy that are like really uh, like amazing uh, noise artists and like how like kind of take some inspiration from them so it's been fun over the last like say two months trying to like incorporate some like noisier elements into my ambient music so it's been fun um but you can you never want to scare everyone away so that's obviously not the first track on that album <laughs> so we like tuck it in later after someone's been sued i'm like and then we're gonna warble your brain out <laughs> I no, I did not say I hate Dolly Parton. Don't you even start, Yovo. <laughs> Don't be starting rumors and lies. <laughs> okay, we got two songs left, so let's get this going.
I was like, just about started talking, and then I'm like, all right, the mic's still off. <laughs> all right, so that leaves one song left on the album, and as I said before, two of the songs have drums, so this must be the other one. And this one is probably the most um, upbeat sounding one on the track. And uh, to note on this one, this was actually like day one of January. Um, so again, it's it. I really hi like how the premise of January works because I tend to like I know I'm not I tend to be feel like I'm a perfectionist though I'm not perfect at my music at all but I tend to be very judgy of my own stuff um so January a lot of times just allows me to be like everything's an exploration which I should just translate to everything but it's easier for me with that challenge to be like ah there's gonna be mistakes made and there's gonna be weird sounds and like whatever comes comes um but this was the first recording for January of this year, and I really like how it came out. And so I figured I'd sneak it in at the end because it definitely has its ambient levels to it, but there are some drums. So I just figured I'd premise that. <laughs>
All right, and that is the entire album, just shy of an hour. I think it's like 54 minutes and some odd seconds to be exact. So um, that's everything. Um, I mean, oh, again, I'm. it's like Ursula Echoes did more to uh, promote me than me, so I... <laughs> I guess I should give him some royalties or something. <laughs> um, but again, uh, for those of you who have like come in throughout the uh, the, the the stream or whatever, um, this was the entire um, album. Yeah, no. So this this is like my actually my second full length album, but it's the first ambient one, and the, it's the first one that's that. It, uh, like thanks to Ix from Ix Studios, I've uh, been doing more of a uh, push for it to be out in the public to kind of like represent what I've been doing in the in the past year. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's uh, between all the stuff that I'd done from January and this, um, I've tend I've managed to like pick up a lot more awareness, including in my like local synth community so it's like I'm actually starting to get more awareness locally and like I have my first pay get paid paying I can't speak words are hard I had a long work day <laughs> I have like my first paying gig in like two weeks which is kind of still mind-blowing and scary and I have to figure out what to play because it can't be ambient because it's not a place that does not lend itself to ambient at that time so there'll they'll, they'll be some more down tempo upbeat stuff for sure but um <laughs> <Red Maker. laughs> the only thing i don't like about the album in january is that you make me feel lazy that's okay i'm just gonna cut out with uh <laughs> doing stuff uh can uh let's see well it's definitely the first album with pedals the last song i think the last single i did on Bandcamp also had pedals to it but yeah most of the things are were synth only um but this is definitely uh this album is very uh pedal intensive um clearly uh I will try to record it. I have to figure out a means to do so. I might get one of the other guys um, on the gig to, to try to do that uh, so I don't have to worry about it as much. Um, I'm not sure if Corey is going to be able to make it to that gig to help, so we'll see how that goes. It's That day is kind of hectic because it's like I have a raid train like first thing in the morning, and then there's like an event that happens all day um, outside the Boston area that's like a bunch of um, synth performances and workshops and whatever and I'm doing like a 20 minute set for that and then in the and then like the after party of that that event is this gig so I'm gonna be tired that that Sunday afterwards I'm gonna be sleeping all day <laughs> <laughs> so um but yeah uh so th uh, this album is uh, available on Bandcamp and Spotify and Apple Music, probably anywhere you can find it. Um, if you like search by my user, like other than Bandcamp, everything else just has this album. I'm gonna start trying to see if I can trickle over some of my older work onto like Spotify and whatever now that I'm finally set up as an artist there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think of like, if y'all have any questions, like let me know. This is, like I said, it's kind of weird to me. Uh, like, yeah, see, it's just still, <laughs> it's still like, like, to be honest, everyone, again, it still kind of blows my mind that, you know, uh, over two and a half years ago, I didn't do any of this. So it's, it's still weird to me that there's like an actual, like here, here's something I can provide to people that shows I've done something musically and it's not complete crap. <laughs> So I still kind of wrap my head around that. It's it's still weird to me, um, but it's like thanks to all of you that that's made it possible. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, again, like I know I said at the beginning, but I know a lot of people have come in. It's like I need to thank uh, Jeff Burchett, um, who on Twitch is the Cat Mansion. Um, he helped uh, master uh, this album and. Uh, X Studios Cleveland in chat here who's also been like thank you very instrumental in trying to put them the album out into more places than you know just my usual band camp uh 
<laughs> or slash echo says i have no more questions i'll just say you're welcome <laughs> oh so yeah that's so sweet <laughs> uh you, you, you all again you all are super super kind i i appreciate the heck out of all of you like it wasn't like again i started all this just as like something to keep me from being completely depressed during the pandemic being like stuck home alone with the cats and don't get me wrong the cats are amazing and i'm thankful they had they, i had them here but losing a lot of outside connection i needed something to occupy my time and so it's uh it's it's a nice thing to be able to take something that was literally just a hey i'm gonna futz around with you know innovation circuit groove box and make boop beep boop sounds and they don't have to sound good they just have to be something that's like makes me smile and to like go from that to like now is just it's so weird <laughs> but i wouldn't have gotten to this point without you all so i really thank you for all just being like the awesome supportive people that you are like i, I don't know what else to say without like potentially crying and that might still happen <laughs> um so things to mention okay like i said i again a bad at promotion so again that's the link for it on bandcamp i'm not promoting it in a ways to, like if you wish to buy it that's great but it's like more like a you know streaming it or uh, not streaming it uh playing it you know wherever is like you know is like the most meaningful thing to me just being able to kind of put stuff out there um, and again, it's on like every other place to, um, and every, every other like music streaming service. I think there were some really random ones that, that X was like, yeah, these things are probably in like Asia or whatever. Cause I have no idea what the names of them are. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, um, if there are people, I'm like, who aren't in the know like uh like those are all my socials um like you'll see between youtube and instagram are usually where like all of, like the the like the daily or weekly musical explorations get posted uh and discord is usually where i'm like keeping like abreast of like upcoming events and stuff that i do <laughs> and now like very cute very very adorable um so yeah so things that are upcoming to yeah that you know the, the, that that link just does not want to do anything i need to fix that <laughs> no no enable you should have just stuck with the one bit i think that would have been better <laughs> Thank you, though. Um, so, yeah, so uh, things coming up. One thing I want to highlight is um, this Friday. So if you liked what you heard, for instance, and you like after a long work week chilling the heck out, um, the Ambient Fam is doing their monthly Ray Train. And let me put that up. Um, that is the link to their Discord. Um, they've honestly been a huge instrumental um uh, support and influence in me like moving more into this genre of exploration they're so also the ones responsible for me wasting money on pedals at least they're all used so that's something or most of them are used <laughs> um, but yeah there's a raid train happening um with a lot of ambient guitar players synth players um piano players etc uh so check that out um i'm doing a one hour stream for that at uh 6 p.m eastern on friday um, hey, clock by Ash and Breathalyzer, good to see you both. Uh, and yeah, Ix, you should totally do that, uh, for sure. They're, they're a lot of fun, and yeah, your stuff definitely would fit in. Uh, there's the usual, um, Shrimp Sunday, uh, now that we cleared Synthon, that's back in the rotation, so, uh, I think I signed up for a 1 p.m. Eastern stream on Sunday for that, uh, so that'll be good. And then, yeah, there's just there'll definitely, I think over the next couple of weeks, there's a couple of different raid trains. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and I think that's primarily it. I need to go check on a sick boyfriend and make sure he's still doing okay. Um, 
If there's any other final questions, feel free to feel, feel free. Words are hard to throw them out, but hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, thanks. Ah, uh, yeah. I, April's usually safety fest. We got to get beta going on that one. <laughs> That's usually the big event for GSG. Is that one? Uh yeah, he, yeah, that's probably, that's like the reason I think Corey is not here. He's, he's been having like st stomach issues. So I need to go see if he's still functional. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else because stuff. Uh, thank you again. Thank you all for being here. Uh, safety fest. So sometimes we have very themed um, events through the Golden Shrimp Guild. So <laughs> April 20th for 20 connect the dots <laughs> so people from the golden shrimp guild will who yeah will will be uh, for some reason no one ever invites me to do that one i can't imagine why <laughs> i keep complaining about that every year and they i i, I don't understand <laughs> yeah so um let me see i'm gonna probably be bad and this will be like on the other extreme of things uh but i see bleep temple on so um yeah <laughs> any chance uh any chance to be able to get to bleep temple is a thing so let me just i'm gonna double check to make sure he's still rating not rating but still playing yeah of course he is I can hear it off my phone now. <laughs> yeah, so warning to those, we're going to go from ambient to techno. I'm sorry, but also not sorry, because I love, ah, Mike is weeping a bit. <laughs> he was doing bike rides earlier. Oh, I love the bike rides. Okay, I'm going to get this set up. Yes. Okay, so again, uh, thanks everyone for being here. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll be back to playing, playing music. Hey, Vin, good to see you. Um, uh, I'll be back to playing music. Um, I have some things that I have, like uh, new stuff created for, for Friday that I'm looking forward to. Uh, so it's going to be fun. Thanks uh, again. I'm just going to keep thanking you all because you all are awesome. So thanks for being supportive. Thanks for being my friends. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for continuing to show up because I don't know, don't you have better things to do with your lives? I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said, you all are great. Uh, please keep up all of your musical um, explorations and, and releases and stuff like that. Cause like, it's all of you that inspire me to do this shit. So uh, I, I wouldn't be here without you all. So we're going to go crash bleep temple. Thank you all for being here. I'll either see you in all of your streams um, or I will, you know, I'll maybe hopefully see you on Friday, but I'm going to play us with some more drums again. <laughs> you all are the best. Let's show bleep temple some love. <laughs> <laughs>